here with men's soccer coach Pete Watkins. Coach, coming off a very tough 1-0 loss to Oshkosh last week in a game, really, you know, uh, that's an exceptionally good team that you guys took on. They finished second in the nation last year. You guys played them, uh, you know, except for one mistake. You played them, you played them right uh, punch for punch. Yeah, we were, uh, I think, the first 10 minutes, so, you know, just intimidated by their success last year and, and certainly this type of team they are. And the goal was probably a result of that. Uh, after they settled the ship a little bit, they kind of realized that you know it's 11 guys versus 11 guys, and uh, particularly in the second half, I thought we played very well. Uh, knocked the ball around, created chances, uh, forced a couple of key saves. Um, I think the free kick from Cameron McKeith, you know, two inches one way, and that's in the back of the net. So um, that, I was happy with the second half and some of the first half, uh, but you can't give a team that good that much of the game early on. You know, talk a little bit about Cameron. You mentioned his name, and, and uh, he's really been your, uh, your your assist maker this year. He's got he's got four assists on the year, three of them in the last five games. He's kind of been that guy that's been setting up uh, setting up the players to score this year. Yeah, and he's, he's a very modest guy. He doesn't say much on the field. Uh, he kind of lets his play talk for him. Uh, I think he's an exceptional athlete. I enjoy watching him play. I think he really trains hard, and um, his teammates appreciate what he does, not just because he creates goals for them, but uh, what he does off the ball, too. Um, but he's done really well this year, and we're looking forward to what he can do next year, too. Yeah, he's got uh, Viterbo on Wednesday night, uh, your final non-conference game. With uh, with three games left in the season, how do you evaluate a, uh, a non-conference game at this point, and what kind of stock do you put in it? Uh, well, I put a lot of stock into it. I think Viterbo is a very good program. Obviously, I'm new to the area, but I know the, the history between the teams, and it's a local derby, so to speak. So um, that part's yeah, it's a, a game where we get to go out and compete, and so we, ex we treat it the same as a Mayak game. Um, and I think their quality of play is that, too. I know they beat St. John's, and they've done well against other teams in our league. So, um, yeah, we're going into it like we would any other game. Let's go out to win, let's play well, and let's represent St. Mary's well. You know, Wednesday night, it's going to be cold. Uh, Mother Nature's not going to be kind to you guys. Does that have any effect on, on how you play or how you strategize heading into the game? Not really, no. It, um, I think our guys are slowly getting acclimated to it. You know, we do have some guys from uh, Nevada and places like that that uh, might be a little colder for them. But, no, it's, it's part of the match. And really, once you get going, it actually enhances, I think, the game. Five o'clock, Wednesday night against Viterbo, Okramovich Field. Good luck. Thank you.